We're back on Born Before 64 with Max Schutte, who was a lieutenant in World War II. He was an Air Force pilot, uh, Army Air Corps pilot, and flew B-129s or B-29s? B B-24s. 24s. And then the 29 came in to existence. Now, you came back thinking that you were going to go to the Pacific. So that was a, that bothered you, didn't it? No. No, it didn't. You were happy to get home. Sure, and well, this is part of the service. I mean, uh, you didn't you, go in for like four years. You just volunteered for a time period, right? Well, it. Uh, I've forgotten how it worked, but uh, you signed up for the duration of the war plus six months. So it wasn't like four years or anything like that. No. Uh -uh. Yeah. So you got married. We're telling your story. You're part of your story yeah. now with your wife. And so you finished college, and then did she come with you to, to, to yeah. Chicago? Yeah, and uh, the University of Chicago is on the south side. Right. And pretty close to the lake. And uh -huh. Beautiful area. It, it, well, cold, though. Right around the, the campus it is, but it is cold, and that wind blows off the lake. Uh -huh. And they provided um, married student housing. They brought in um, uh, army barracks from uh, Fort Sheridan, I think it is, mm -hmm. and uh, reconfigured them uh, so that uh, each of the barracks had four apartments, right. two down and two up. And uh, they put these uh, uh, south of the uh, campus as you say, a beautiful area. We had a great view of the of the uh, university skyline, and but we had to cross. I had to cross the broad boulevard called the Midway uh, to get to campus, and that wind would come down off of the lake, and I thought I'd never make it. But uh, those were great years, and. And you lived. finished school, and then what did you do? Then we uh, considered going. We didn't want to go back to Des Moines, and we didn't want to stay in Chicago. We considered the Northwest. I went out there and had some interviews, and then we had some family here in Houston, and uh, I came to Houston and and uh, went with a mortgage banker and then went into a commercial banker uh, and that was where my career was in banking. And how many children did you have? We had three uh, twins, boy-girl twins, uh, and then uh, 11 years later after they were born in 52, I think it was, our uh, youngest son was born. He lives with his family here in Houston. Uh, our older son lives in Austin, and our daughter lives in San Antonio. You like Texas, don't you? Oh, yeah. We like it's a really beautiful place, very, very American yeah. in the sense, and understanding. Well, in, in Houston, uh, I read somewhere recently where it was uh, the most ethnically diverse city in the country. Wow. So that's good. We like Houston. You like Houston a lot. Did you ever go back to flying? I, uh, no, not really. I considered uh, joining the reserves, which when I got out, I could have done. I even went out to Ellington and, and uh, signed some papers, but uh, I decided the Korean War was going on then. I decided I didn't want to get involved called in up in that, and mm -hmm. so I didn't follow through with right. joining the reserves. Right. What did you think that you, you know, just the flying part of it, mm -hmm. was it, it was exhilarating, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. I enjoyed it. Was there any time during that period uh, when you were flying that you were ever frightened? Oh, yeah. Sure. A lot? Yeah. Was there any special event that you remember besides getting hit with flack 
well, that stood out in your mind more than any other? That uh, runaway prop that I had on takeoff, that was... That's pretty scary. Really scary. But when, you, when you're in dangerous situations, you think of what needs to be done. Not, and you just do it. Yeah. And uh, so if you're going to be scared, why well, you can't do save it. that for later. Well, it was uh, amazing when that pilot landed the plane with all the passengers in the water in New York. Oh, yeah. I mean, that had to be probably the wildest thing I've ever seen. Yeah. And amazing. He, he was amazing. Yeah. But, you know, when, when you're up in the air and you're flying, like I told you, um, it was amazing to me to, to, to be able to just be it's so free. It's such a free feeling um, knowing that you're up there and, and, and you're getting to do that. And I really wanted to get my pilot's license. I really did. Yeah. And I remember taking lessons out in Arizona. But when I did the one in, in Lunkin Airport in, in Cincinnati, that probably, um, and, the po and the person that was filming it was my cousin. And he was terrified <laughs> of planes. And my husband refused to even get in the plane. So it was something that we did. He passed away a few years later. And, and we actually... Um, did it in memory of his, of her son. One of my closest friends who was killed, um, when we, and I went through, all the way through training with him, and he uh, got airsick every time we changed into a different plane, that is, primary, basic, advanced, twin, twin engine, advanced, uh, is something psychological with him, I guess, because he got air sick. He was a fine pilot, and, um, and it's one was, of the things that happens, though. I uh, mean, like I said, I'm terrified of turbulence. Yeah. Uh, and the day that I was flying, and I'd flown many other times, it was hot, it was like 96 degrees, and the air was just stagnant, yeah. and it was just like that. Yeah. And there's just nothing you can do about it, you just gotta do it. Yeah, just swallow, well, uh, you know. Uh, hot day, the it, air comes up and causes that turbulence. Uh, and how does but, it really affect the plane, would you say? Well, uh, I've never heard of a, a, a certified plan and yeah, having an accident because of it. Uh, mm -hmm. it some experimental planes have uh, been destroyed by that, but uh, they haven't been certified planes. Um, the, uh, I think the scariest thing for me was we were in Hong Kong. And Max, uh, that airport in Hong Kong that used to be where they had the major airport used to be in the center of the city. So you had to fly into oh, yeah. the city and you could see people eating dinner. And <laughs> we hit a wind shear and we went like that right back up. I think that was the scariest time yeah. I've ever been on a plane. Kansas City used to have its airport close to the city and you had to go in and like that and just go down like that and make a steep approach. Right. But um, I want to thank you so much for joining me today and taking thank, time out of your busy day. Thank you. Right. For <laughs> well, coming in and, and, and talking to us. I'm not as busy us. as I used to be. <laughs> well, I think that. But I'm glad to have done it and uh, hope it was. Uh, it was beautiful. Thank you so much. in some way. It really was. And I, and I really want to see. You, you have these, right? These yeah, are those that are, we didn't get to show. And yeah, well, uh, uh, this is the air medal with right. Oak Leaf Cluster. That is, I was awarded right. the air medal twice. Right. These other, these are battle stars for different, right. for different things. engagements that I was in. Uh -huh. The others are just service medals. This is Distinguished Unit Citation. Oh, that's beautiful. Which, uh, Let me show it. Uh, Hold on. I never really wear that because right. uh, I wasn't on the mi missions that got uh -huh. the distinguished. Uh -huh. But I, 
I, uh, You're pretty proud of it, right? Yeah, I, I wear some of these things on Veterans Day. On different Day occasions, or, yeah. Veterans Day. Well, I hope you get up to Washington and see it. Um, it it's such a beautiful experience. Everybody that I've talked to that, that has done it um, has really, um, it's really meant a lot to them. And I, like I said, I want to invite you to the Air Power uh, event, Skyball, for next year. Um, and like I said, I, I couldn't believe how beautiful it was. Yeah. And I'm proud to be an American. I'm proud to oh, be yeah. a former uh, Marine wife. And my husband was in the Air Force. So I can't thank you enough for your service, for what you did well. for us. And thanks so much. And um, I'll make sure I give you a copy of this program. Oh, good. And uh, we'll see you next time on Born Before 64. Join us at www.born, the initial B, the number four, the number 64. See you next time. Thank you for joining us on Born Before 64 with Katherine Raker. For more information on our show, check out our website at www.bornbefore64.com.